Hey everyone, I want to thank you for tuning into this video. On today's video, I'm going to be bringing 75 items that sold within 13 days of listing over the last three months. So I've done some what sold videos in the past. This is going to be a little different than that in that I just highlight the, only the things that are selling really quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on my screen here and share with you so that you can see these items. I will try and keep this um, pretty quick and minimal on explaining each item. I won't really get into um, cost of each item and things like that, but I will try and point out some uh, things with each specific one on why I picked it up or what makes it unique or things like that. It may be helpful for you when you're looking for items. Um, obviously, items that sell fast, they bring in cash quickly, which is what you want. If you spend $5 at a thrift store or uh, you know 5 to 10 bucks at a thrift store and you sell something for 40 bucks and you get that within a week, that's really good. You don't want to spend 5 or $10 and have that item sit for a year and then bring in $20 or $30. So the items going to be showing you are higher priced items that sold really quickly. So um, join me as I share my screen now and then I'll go through these really quickly and uh, give you an idea of what I'm buying and selling. All right, so you should be able to see this first item up here and um, some of these I will say, especially with this first one, but about half of these items that I'm going to be showing you today, um, the price it'll say sold for, that's the price I had it listed at. A lot of these I took best offers on, and if um, I took a best offer, it's for some reason not going to show it in this description here in the sold for column. So I'm just going to tell you what I got for it if I didn't get full price. The first up is a pair of Monk Merrill Jungle Mock um, shoes. These are men's. I've kind of slowed down on picking these up just because I have so many of them, but I, and I found that they don't sell for quite a bit. You know, I, I think at most I'm going to get is about $45 to 50 if they're really good condition. Obviously not new if that's the case. Um, but these, I took a best offer for $32.50 on them. And again, remember all these items I'm showing you sold within 13 days of listing. So within two weeks, of listing them, they sold. And so again, all fast moving items. And this is uh, this is April of 2020, I'm doing the last three months. So these are 75 items that sold in the last three months of 2020, so quarter one. This next item up is a Peter Millar polo shirt. It has a golf logo here. You can see um, it's got like a congressional logo. Sorry. Let's just go ahead and minimize this. With all these tabs open, my computer is going a little crazy. But uh, I had it listed for $27.83 and I took a best offer of $23 on it. Peter Millar, this was an older shirt um, and mainly because of the logo here. So yeah, 23 bucks and it was out. Next up are a pair of 511 um, like usually what I get are the 511 polyester pants that have like the pot, uh, pockets down here. And, uh, these were a little different. They were more of, they were polyester and they were in excellent condition. Um, typically with these, I, I get anywhere from 25 to $35, depending on condition. These were excellent condition and I took a best offer of $30. So this is a brand that does not disappoint 511 tactical and the, uh, Tag looks like that, so 511 Tactical. Usually I'm focusing on the pants, the shirts, I don't really buy as much anymore unless excellent condition or unique. This next up was a new item for me. Um, I hardly ever pick anything up like this. I've, this is probably the second pair of women's um, wedge Nike shoes that I've got. I was actually quite surprised at what these sold for, I had them listed at $111.83 and they sold within two days of listing. And they even had on this picture right here, they had a little bit of the um, the, in, the sole um, chipped away. It was still kind of hanging there and it could have been probably like glued back on as you can see. But uh, $111.83, I had no idea that these shoes sold for that much. I thought I was going to get like closer to 50 or $60 if I'm honest with you, only because I sold another pair like this, but they were green suede. I think I got $55 for them. And so when I looked these up, I was astounded at how much I could get. And obviously $111.83, I was very happy with that. 
This next item, I did like an experiment this last winter, and I bought a bunch of uh, Patagonia Cinchilla fleece um, fleece jackets and the fleece sweaters. And this one I purchased and sold, um, obviously within 13 days, for $63.83, full price. And you can see there were, according to the description, there were two small sear marks above the pocket. Um, this was something where I, I think I paid like $20 to $30 for this and flipped it for $63. Uh, I probably wouldn't have bought this one again just because I didn't make that much, but there were a few other cinchillas that I sold for over $100, well over $100 that I was happy with. This next item were a pair of UGG um, sweater knit boots. UGG is a brand that does really well. Um, these I actually took a best offer of $50 for and they're in great condition. So I don't have much to say about these except for UGG is a great brand. This next one, Mountain Hardware um, Outdoor Vest. I would have gotten more for this had it not had this logo on it, the peak logo that you can see right here. And my computer's taking a while to, to load the zoom, but um, that, that logo right there brought the value down a little bit. But with outdoor gear, people aren't as picky with branded stuff. It does bring the value down a little bit. But for this, I took a, a best offer of $39.45 on this fleece in excellent condition. Next up was a Polo Ralph Lauren, um, like I think it was Rayon, uh, Viscose, sorry, Viscose short sleeve shirt. Had this really cool pattern and you can see the tag right there says Caldwell. And so um, I listed that in the description, Caldwell button-up shirt, kind of like a Hawaiian shirt, something that someone will wear in the summer. And this sold for full price of $38.23. And again, within 13 days of listing. I believe this sold actually within a week. So very happy about that. Lightweight, first class, cheap to ship, great sale. This next item, I was actually surprised at the amount of money I got for this only because when I got home, this had a stain on the back. And uh, I don't know if you can see it right there, but um, this little stain right here, it's kind of like an oil stain or something, but it was a ski jacket, so people aren't really gonna care as much about an oil stain on the back of a jacket for skiing. Um, Burton is a great brand, honestly. I uh, Yeah, and here's the other thing too, the zipper tab was missing. So the zipper worked, but it was missing the little pull tab. Um, so those two things, I was thinking, I'll take 50 bucks for this jacket. I listed it, I had it on sale for $71.83, and it went for full price. So and I believe I sold this the same day that I listed it. So it was heavy, it was a big coat, but for $71, bucks, uh, very happy for that sale. Again, these items I'm, I'm showing you right now are items that I sold between um, today's April uh, 13th. So I sold between January 13th and April 13th today um, within the last three months. So keep in mind that the items, a lot of these items I'm showing you are winter items. And obviously if you look for them now, you may not be able to, um, may have to sit on it until next, you know, October, November. But um, there's still things that you can keep in mind for, you know, next winter. Uh, a lot of these brands, you know, are really great brands to buy year round. Burton is one that I've been on for a while. And people not wanting to pay full price for a ski coat, you know, two, three, four hundred dollars and up, they can get one for seventy dollars, like that last item, and it went fast. Next up was, you know, anytime someone has new with tags, I'm always going to entertain the idea. Um, this was a Nike Golf, like a thermal uh, layer that a, a golfer would wear. I put it up for thirty-eight twenty-three, and I took a best offer of thirty-four dollars and forty-one cents. Nothing fancy about this; it was just your. You know, typical, um, just solid color, like polyester uh, layer. Next item were a pair of Columbia Cal uh, Klamath, I think is how you say that, cargo shorts, so like your fishing or hiking shorts. They were brand new with tags. I listed them. So all my listings end in 79. Um, not, I don't know why I picked that. I just did. So that's how I do it. A lot of times I have a sale going. So... If you see an item that's not 79 cents, 
that ends with 79 cents. It's obviously because I have a sale, but uh, this is typically what I start every item at, something 79. But um, so more than likely, they were 47.79. They probably would have had like a 10 or 15% sale going at the time, which would have knocked them down in the low 40s. And I took an offer for 34.41 on these brand new Columbia shorts. This next item was an item that I do remember I paid a dollar for. I had gone to this Goodwill that I had not been to. It was about an hour away. Um, I was feeling uh, like an adventure one day and I drove an hour away because I needed to um, be out with the car anyways and be back to pick up my wife so I had time to kill. And this was an item that was a field and stream like shirt jacket. You can see right there it had like a little hoodie underneath it. And I remember that I picked this up for a dollar and it was on a recent, well, not a recent, but it was on a video of mine in the past. And it was in one of those like bins where you just kind of sort through and everything's a buck. And I picked it up for a dollar. I, I don't think I would have picked it up, honestly, if it wasn't in that bin. If it was six or seven bucks, I probably would have left it, to be honest, which would have been a mistake because this sold for full price of $38.07 and it sold within a few hours of listing it. So... Um, rolled this up into a padded flat rate envelope for seven, uh, I think 30 at the time, 733 or something like that. And uh, yeah, I made really good money on this. This next item, and again, sorry, this is taking so long to load. All these tabs are really slowing my computer down. <laughs> my computer is like five to six years old, so it's about time to replace. But this next item, I took a really um, a lower offer on, something I would not typically take a low offer on for an item um, that obviously I had had less than two weeks, but I had this listed at 7632 as you can see right here, and Mountain Hardware is a really good brand. This is just your soft shell jacket, full zip, and there you go, Windstopper soft shell. I had this listed for 8979, um, and obviously it didn't sell for 7632, but I had it on sale for 7632. Buyer made an offer for 56, and this was an item what I actually looked up at the time that I got the offer, and I just looked up to see what are these items, this uh, Mountain Hardware Windstopper jacket going for, and I saw that they were going in the 50s and 60s, and so I thought, you know what, even though the buyer made an offer $20 less than what I'm asking, typically I would have countered at probably like 70, but with this item and the recent sold comps, I thought that offer was fair, Let's get it out for 56 bucks. I'm always willing, especially on items that are higher priced, um, you know, to make $56 was a great sale. So I was willing to take a lower offer to get that moving and obviously an offer that was in the range that it was typically selling for, um, for that the last month or two. So um, got it out within two weeks for $56. Next up was on... Um, Next up, you've seen a couple videos that I've talked about these specific uh, Restoration Hardway duvet, duvet slippers. I listed these, I think I paid like four or five bucks for them and they sold for full price of $33.82. And they even had a stain on the bottom there, you can see, which people aren't gonna care about typically a stain on the bottom of shoes because it's not gonna be seen much. But uh, yeah, these were really nice, soft, plush duvet slippers. Um, they were women's and thirty-three dollars and eighty-two cents. Lightweight. They went first. Excuse me. They went first class, and so um, really happy with that sale. This next item was in a video of mine, um, like a thrift ride-along video that I did, and these were excellent condition um, Washington Redskin athletic shorts. I'm actually going to slide this down just a little bit to get out of the way. But you can see, um, I was at the store and they had like four of these shorts and these were the only ones that were in excellent condition. You can see the holes there on the side. Uh, that's kind of a newer design that Nike, is this Nike, uh, yeah, Nike on field um, was, was doing. These actually sold for a best offer of $28 within I think a day or two of listing them. So. I found that a lot of these um, newer, and you can see I have excellent condition like new, a lot of these newer um, athletic shorts with like a sports team and a logo on them, 
it, if they're truly within the last year or two and they're in excellent condition, they'll sell for mid 20s to 30, depending on the team, how popular they are. Washington Redskins, not a popular team, but um, like I said, these were in light new status. This next item, I actually had a couple of these. I'm only choosing to show one, but I, I had two REI backpacks that I purchased at different times. This one, um, I listed for 4232, and I took a best offer of 3597. If you're unfamiliar of how to ship a backpack, this will go, you can get like a, a priority mail box. It's kind of like a flatter um, box. I think it's the dimensions are 16 by 14, so 16 inches by 14 inches by 4 inches. That's the box that this would fit in. Um, and obviously you can kind of roll the straps up and things like that inside the box to where it fits. But um, yeah, very happy with this sale, $35.97. Like I said, I had a second one. It was just an all black and I sold it for $34. And both of them actually went within two weeks of selling of listing. So we're at 16 minutes, uh, roughly 16 minutes in the video, and we are. Um, uh, I think we're about halfway done, as far as maybe a third of the way done with all these items. So here we go. Next up, Pearl Izumi is a great brand. The bummer about this, which I don't think I realized in the store, is this was a uh, women's. Um, cycling jersey had it been men's i say had it been it obviously sold fast because it's in this video but typically i sit on women's um, cycling gear to the point uh, i sit on women's cycling gear a lot longer to the point where i've almost stopped buying it but this must have been really cheap is probably why i picked it up and pearl izumi elite so if you, you know pearl izumi is a great brand but if you can find like elite or select after it um it's kind of a higher end um, item and I took a best offer of 2513 on this next up this brand is amazing I don't find it very often but if you can find men's especially Oslo or Oslo uh, I'm not confident on how you pronounce that I, I guess I say Oslo um, fugitive Gore-Tex hiking boots but really any Oslo Gore-Tex, or they don't have to be Gore-Tex, but Gore-Tex sell better. Um, hiking boots sell really well, and this is not the first pair of hiking boots that I've sold for over $100. I listed them at $152.82, and I took a best offer of $125. So I think when I picked these up, I was expecting to get like $75 to $85. Looked them up when I got home, was pleasantly surprised they sold for well over $100. There were several comps from like 115 to 150. So obviously I listed them on the high end and took a best offer in the mid range of 125. This next uh, uh, item was new with tags and it's Adidas golf pants. Um, you can see the tag right there. This was an older style of golf pant, but because it was new with tags is the reason why I picked it up. If it was not new with tags, I probably would have left it because it was older, but like I said, I always entertain new with tag items. And there are always people out there that don't care if they're an older style as long as they're new with tags. So that de definitely brings value. I listed them at $46.57 and I took a best offer of $40 on these pants. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but my computer fan is blowing right now. It's going crazy with all the stuff that I have open. Um, let's see if I can beat my battery before it um, drops down. It was at full charge when I started this, but we'll carry on and see what happens. Um, this item I paid up for, I do remember that. It was in a Goodwill, like behind a, a glass case. And I remember seeing the box and thinking, I need to check those out because Alan Edmonds does not disappoint hardly ever. These had the box and they actually had... Um, like these um, really nice shoe covers that were in the box as well. So I list them at $89.79, excellent condition. I said comes with box and shoe bags. And these were the Fiasol, they were like a waxed, um, waxed texture. And I believe I sold these within an hour or two of listing them. I took a best offer for $80 on these Allen Edmonds shoes. 
This next item was an item that was in another thrift ride along video. I um, picked them up for like five to, to 10 bucks. Um, Asics is a brand just, you have to look for more of the recent shoes. And as you can see, these were from 2013. So even these were one, they were women's and they were 2013. So they were almost seven years old. But the reason why I picked these up is for this special edition, which you can see right here. It's got the 2013 on the side and then it says New York City. This was a New York City Marathon special edition for that year, 2013. And I honestly, I think I looked up comps in the store and I think I was thinking I would get 40 to $50. I got home, I looked them up and had two or three recent sales that were a lot higher than that. Uh, not a lot higher, but just higher than what I was initially thinking. So I listed them for $79.79 and I think within three or four hours of listing them, I had a best offer of 65 bucks, which I took gladly. You know, considering in the store, I was thinking I was gonna get 40 to 50 and I got 65. This next item I found in the store, the brand is a great brand. It's new with tags. That doesn't really show you much right there, but Duluth Trading Co. I um, had seen this in the store a couple times and I waited on the price just to drop because the color of the tag dropped to 75% off. I think I picked this up for 15 to $20, maybe 25. I, I definitely paid up for this item. I got home, I should have looked it up, but I got home and comps were just not what I thought I was gonna get for it. And so um, I, I priced it just to move it because I think there were a couple sales in the past three months that were like 50 to 60. Um, so I listed it for 74, 79 um, and sold it for $60 total. Definitely glad to sell that quickly. I was nervous I would sit on that for a while, but um, we were in the middle of winter, obviously, or towards the tail end of winter, I should say. And um, yeah, glad I sold that. Next item up were, were a pair of L.L. Bean Chelsea duck boots. Um, women's, seven and a half. Again, um, I've said this in the past in this video, but I thought these would be men's when I purchased them. You know, there are a lot of times when you're at the thrift store, you see something that's not in the right section, uh, i.e. a pair of women's shoes that are in the men's, in the men's section. But I listed these for $69.79 and took a best offer of $55. And these are in excellent, excellent condition. Um, you know, hardly any marks on these. Very pleased with the condition on these. And as you can see, I, I said uh, great condition with exception of red mark on one boot. And I think that was, if I remember right, yeah, it was up, uh, you know, at the um, top of the boot, which would have been covered more than likely by jeans or some pants or something. Next item, Shimano is a great brand. I don't find very many cycling shoes. But um, one thing I want to point out with um, Shimano like cycling shoes you can have road or mountain um, shoes cycling shoes and it's always good to put in the description or in the title mountain bike or road or cycling cycling I tend to think of road bike and then mountain bike I usually put um, MTB those abbreviations MTB in there I didn't have room in this title but another thing you want to put is two bolt or um, like three bolts or four bolt, and you know that by the bottom. You can see uh, each shoe has two bolts. A lot of people will put that in their title. And um, yeah, that's one thing to note with cycling shoes. So I listed these for just under 50 bucks, and I took a best offer of $38. This is an item that, if you remember the, um, what was that brand that I mentioned? Oh, I can't remember now, but it was that shirt jacket, the hoodie. Um, I can't remember the brand that it was, but I want to say Carhartt, but that doesn't sound right. Anyways, this was um, also at the same store for a buck, and it was in the bin. It was a kid's North Face, and I knew with North Face that, I don't know if you heard that, just got an offer. That's, a, that's a, always a good sign. Um, and there it is. This was a... Uh, Go ahead and close that. This was in the dollar bin. It's lightweight. It's kids. I don't typically buy kids stuff anymore, 
buffer a buck. I knew I could get $25 out of this and it was just your basic rain jacket. And I did, $25 best offer and I took it. I debated showing this just because this is more of a bread and butter item and I've kind of slowed on picking these these shirts up, but Under Armour is still a pretty decent brand to buy. Um, this is just like um, an outdoor shirt. It's got snap front and it vents under the uh, armpits and along the side. Um, just your typical like outdoor hiking or fishing shirt that someone would wear for a quick dry option. And I listed this for $29.79 and I took a best offer of $24. And probably the reason why that one sold so quickly was because it was 2XL. So um, another reason why I would have picked it up. If it had been medium, I probably would have left it. Smaller, medium, um, large, uh, it would have been iffy. But XL and up is, it's always better when that, because those sell faster. Here's another Pearl Zumi cycling bib shorts. Um, bibs, these you know have the straps that go over the shoulders and it looks like a one-piece cycling shorts as opposed to just having like the bottom shorts so with these you want to make sure and get bib shorts in the title rather than just cycling shorts because it's got the straps and uh, I, I always do well with these if the brand is right and Pearl Azumi is always a good brand uh, I listed these for just under 40 and I took a best offer of 3581 and I will say one thing with these is you always want to you know, people are typically um, interested in the condition of the padding on the inside. So I always take a picture, not only of the outside, the front, back, and the leg like sides, but I also get the padding on the inside so people can see how well it, it's padded or whether, it, I guess I should say whether it is or is not padded well. This next item was, um, just a lightweight running option. I debated getting this for myself, but I ended up selling it. It's a medium, I'm more of a large. It was in excellent condition. Uh, I listed it for just under 30 and I took a best offer for $24. And I don't know if I mentioned this, but it is, it is a running layer. So lightweight um, and you know that because it has, sorry, I can't get it to stay there, but it's got the, um, the zipper pocket on the back for like a key or um, just some kind of running accessory. This next item was a brand new item for me. Not brand new in that it was new with tags, but I had never heard of this brand before and I looked it up in the store and I took a chance on it. Billy Reed, has anyone out there heard of Billy Reed? It was new to me, but uh, when I looked it up, comps were in the mid 20s. So I listed this around 35 and I took a best offer of $25. Nothing fancy about this, it's just your cotton flannel shirt. Um, Kind of like a green and a red and a blue color. Um, this brand I buy quite a bit of. Um, I've kind of gotten pickier with these just because there's so many out there, but they do really well. And this one, especially because it was linen, it was XL. Um, it it was white, or I guess it should I should say it is white. Uh, I don't typically buy white clothing just because it's so easy to get stained or have stains on it or just look discolored. But this was, I looked it over, it was excellent condition as I listed, listed it for 3131 and took a best offer of 2531. This item was really fun for me to find and I'll show you, um, that's the brand Orvis. This is a vintage Orvis. Um, it's kind of like a denim shirt jacket. It was really heavy. I, uh, you can see inside it was fleece line. This was a medium and yeah, took four pictures front back and then two a close up of the top front and then a close up of the tag. This listed, or sorry, I listed this and then this sold within like two to three hours of listing it. And the guy said, I have, um, a large at home. It doesn't really, it's too big for me. I'm really hoping this fits. So I sent it out. This was a medium hoping, fingers crossed, that it wouldn't um, come back. And he got it, left positive feedback, said it worked, and he loved it. And it sold for full price of $62.81. So I say $62.81. I had this on sale for, it looks like, uh, about 10% off. So, um, is that right? Yeah, that's right. 10% off, full price, $62.81. 
This next item, a pair of Travis Matthew athletic shorts. Not really sure. I mean, I guess you could wear these for hiking or for golf or whatever. Um, maybe even swimming. I don't know. But I listed them for thirty-one thirty-one, and it took a best offer of twenty-eight eighteen. There's nothing too fancy about these, but Travis Matthew. That's what the logo looks like right there, and it's that. Sometimes you'll see the M, or sometimes you'll see the the full spell out of Travis Matthew on the article of clothing. Next up, this item, I was a little hesitant because of the color, but I shouldn't have been because North Face is a good brand. Um, there's the inside. With jackets, I typically do like a front, an inside, the back, and then you know you can see the, um, the logo there. This was a men's jacket. I listed it for $44.81. You can see in the condition description, I said it was missing clasp at the end of one of the elastic bands, and here's the picture to show that. I got an offer for this pretty quickly and took it for $37 even. This next item, I bought uh, two pairs of these for 15 each, and the other one is a little further down um, the tabs here, but uh, I listed this for just under 50, had it on sale for 10% off, and it went for 44.81, full price. These were just a pair of Under Armour golf pants that were brand new with the tags. So you can see retail $90. They don't ever go for that, but you can expect about half of retail when you're selling on eBay if they're brand new with the tags. Um, this, this, uh, make sure. All right, this next item. If you've been following me, um, I say this probably every time with this brand, but Lucky Brand, I'm really. Uh, particular with and I got this because it was linen and pearl snap and it was like a western shirt so you know you can kind of see the pearl snaps there and the linen obviously um, bring the value of this up and it, I listed it for 40 bucks it was 10% off and it went for full price $35.81 this next item a pair of Patagonia board shorts you can see cool color has the Patagonia down there at the bottom of the leg um, and I listed it for $35, took a best offer of 28 bucks. And here are the other pair of Under Armour golf pants that were just like the blue ones, but they were gray. Paid $15 and listed them for mid-40s. Took a best offer for $40. This next brand, um, Vineyard Vines, I've been finding quite a bit lately. And you can see it's got the whale logo on the chest. That's what you want with vineyard vines. There's the, if you're not familiar, there's more of the, the logo. But, you know, anything of theirs is really going to sell well. But if it specifically has that, um, that whale logo on the chest, that sells a lot better. And usually if I have space in the title, I'll put whale um, somewhere in there. So vineyard vines, performance whale polo shirt is a long sleeve. It was listed for $35.81, and it um, sold for a best offer of $31. This next item, another Pearl Izumi item. It's mountain bike cycling shorts. And these, were, these were just like a pair of um, just, they weren't padded on the inside. It was just the liners uh, shorts. And uh, as you can see there, picture of the inside, just the liner. Listed for $35.81 and took a best offer of $32. Let's see, it took a best offer of 32, oh, sorry, 32.23. <laughs> All right, this next item were like neon green 686 um, ski or snowboard pants. They had two small tears on the back of one leg on the bottom. You can see there, people really don't, I mean, it's not going to affect the performance as much with those tears there. And so, but I did want to make sure to get that in the description and photo. And this sold for a full price of $44.81. So this was actually the first pair of um, 686 that I had sold before. And so because of that, I'll definitely be looking for those in the future. This next pair of shoes, I got a little more than I thought I would get for them originally. I thought I would get like 60 bucks. I listed them for 90. They're a pair of Keen waterproof hiking boots or hiking shoes. Um, size 12, but they were in excellent condition as you can see by the soles. I mean, there's hardly any marks They didn't look like they had really even been worn much and I took a best offer of $80 on these shoes Keen are 
a great brand, sell really well. Uh, this was something that I did, have never seen before, Robert Graham pants. I usually find the Robert Graham shirts. So because of the brand, I took a chance on these and I listed them for mid-30s and they sold for a full price of $35.81. These are just your typical, you know, like pleated, um, I say pleated, but I listed them as flat front. I guess they are flat front. Um, flat front, like dress pants, casual pants. And yeah, just because of the, there's the Robert Graham logo. They had a cool pattern on the inside with like the paisley or the, the different design um, pattern inside. So 3581 and was very happy about that one. This next item is a pair of uh, Primal Cycling and again, bib shorts. Primal's not as good, but because they were new is the reason why I picked these up. There they are, new with tags. And again, show the inside of the padding. People want to see the condition. Took a best offer on these for $40. Solomon is a great brand, specifically for men's. Um, if I had seen these in women's, I probably would have left them behind. But Solomon Speed Cross 4 Gore Tex Trail Running Shoes. Um, they weren't in the best condition. You can see I said slight wear on top, um, probably the toe right there, and then you know slight wear here on the inside. So that's the reason why I had these listed at just under 50 and they actually sold for full price, same day, $44.81. For men's Solomons, if these did not have the wear there on the, on the top of the shoe, I probably could have gotten 60 to $70 for those. I've got a couple Brooks Brothers items I'm going to be telling you about, and, and this um, sweater was 100% Scottish lamb's wool. With some of these higher end premier or premium brands, premier, <laughs> premium brands, if you can find 100% wool, and specifically like made in Ireland or Scottish um, wool, they sell really well. L.L. Bean, J. Crew, um, Brooks Brothers, these are some of the brands that I look for specifically. Um, and you can see right there on the tag, it said Brooks Brothers Scottish Lamb's Wool. It was also a 2XL. This listed, um, or this sold same day that I listed it for $44. So I took a best offer, you know, 10, you know, roughly 10% off of what I'm asking. That's an easy no brainer on making that call. And then I'll just jump to this next one because I bought this at the same store and I thought it was men's, but got home and it was women's. And so had this been men's, I would have gotten 50 to 60 bucks for it, but it was women's, so I just wanted to get rid of it, and I took a best offer of, I believe, uh, $30 on this. Brooks Brothers Saxon Cardigan Shawl Sweater. Uh, this next pair, cool. It, these pants were more of like your casual like dress pants or casual wear pants. They weren't really hiking pants. You can see they're more of a cotton nylon blend, so they're not like, most of their hiking pants are like 90 something percent nylon. So these are more like your everyday wear pants. I listed them for mid 40s and I took a best offer of $40. Next pair of shoes were women's Brooks athletic shoes. I've just had trouble selling women's running shoes in the past. And so I was hesitant with these. I listed them, they were in excellent condition. I listed them on the lower end of just under 50 bucks and took a best offer of $41. Which you can see there, not a lot of wear. Some dirt on the on the soles, but not a lot of wear. Whoa, don't close that one. Am I going to make it? Battery down to 34%. We'll see. Uh, if, I do, if I don't make it, I'll just start again tomorrow after this is charged. This next item was a pretty unique item. I've kind of slowed way down on cycling jerseys, but because this has like a school, a university on it, Kansas Jayhawks, I picked it up. I think it even had, um, no, I guess it was an excellent condition. I'm thinking of something else. But yeah, excellent condition is sold within a couple of days of listing it for a full asking price of $34.01. And something like this, I love it because it's, it's so lightweight that it goes first class. This next item was brand new with tags. It's a J. Crew, your basic lightweight V-neck sweater. It was 100% merino wool, which, again, you want to look for wool sweaters and brand new. Um, 
And I think that's the factory logo with those diamonds under the J Crew there. But I listed it for 40 because it was factory and not like the J Crew actual store. Not more of like the higher end J Crew, I should say. And I took a best offer of 35 on this. But again, if it wasn't a J Crew factory, I would have probably gotten 45. Uh, this pair of pants I got to tell you a story about because I found five of these Lululemon seawall track pants, all the same size, but I had different colors. And you can see I listed great condition. I have multiple pairs, all the same size with different colors so that, you know, if someone was looking to buy two or three pairs, they would check my store and, you know, I would even give them a deal if they bought multiples. I actually sold, I think, two or three of these to the same guy. He bought one. I shipped them out, and then he bought another color, I shipped them out, and I think he bought a third. So I had five pairs of these, I paid $20 per pair, and I sold, I listed all of them around $90, and I sold this first pair within two weeks for 75, best offer. Um, and then I ended up selling the other four or five, uh, the other four, I guess, within um, probably, um, I think within a month of listing them all for Minimum of 75, I think up to $90 per pair. So very happy about spending $100 to make $500, or while well, probably closer to 450 for those five pairs of pants. Lululemon does not disappoint. And I have a hard time saying that. I don't know if you do, but Lululemon does not disappoint. Um, these next two tabs are the same pretty much. They're both uh, Jordan basketball shorts. I can always get... Um, mid 20s to 30 for these. And I'll show you this other pair as well. This first pair I listed for just under 30 because it had a couple snags on the front and it took a best offer of 23. And then this next pair actually sold for full price of 29.51 um, because they didn't have any snags, they were in great condition. So Jordan basketball shorts always sell in the mid 20s and obviously you can get 30. Um, these are an older pair of Banana Republic Traveler um, slim jeans, and you can see right there, Banana Republic, it will say Traveler right under the, the logo on the inside or the spell out on the inside. And then you can tell by the tag that these were um, an older pair of jeans just by this 34 by 32 right here. Um, they look a little different now, but I listed them for just under $40, and I took, actually I didn't take a best offer, these sold for full price. $35.81. This next item, another great ski gear pickup, Burton Dry Ride. If you can find Dry Ride, and I'll show you the logo, we'll have this neon green um, little Dry Ride tag attached. Um, those will always sell on the higher end. Dry Ride is very sought after. I listed these for $53, and I took a best offer of $45. Had this really cool blue plaid um, pattern. This next item, another story about this one, was that it was in a thrift ride along video and I um, got home and actually realized that it still had the tag attached to it. I thought it was used. So I was expecting to get 35 to $45 for this Brooks Brothers corduroy like sports coat. I've been picking up a lot of um, jackets like this from like J. Crew. Brooks Brothers, Orvis, L.L. Bean, Eddie Bauer, and been able to flip for close to 50. But finding this on there made my day because it was brand new. I listed it for just over 100, and an offer came in for 80, I think within a day or two, which was, you know, it's about 25% to 30% lower than what I was asking. But since I was only expecting to get like 40 to 50 for it originally, to get 80 twice that was very happy for me. Um, so very happy for me. I don't know if that makes sense, but it made my day. So $80 on that, that was a good sell. Uh, I had two of these. I think I still have one left, but this first pair sold obviously within two weeks. Power, uh, power, a pair of Eddie Power. Trevex hiking pants, and you know they're Trevex because it will say that right on the inside there, Trevex. Um, I had both pairs of the same size, same color, so I listed two, and I sold this one for a best offer of $25. I feel like we're getting close to the end here. 
All right, uh, this next brand, I've probably picked up three items from them in the four or five years of reselling that I've been doing and outdoor research. I will say this, if you can find outdoor research, pick it up, shirts, pants, they sell really quickly and um, for, for good money. So these are a pair of excellent condition outdoor research pants. There's the OR tag on, or the logo on the side. And that's what the tag on the inside of the pants and shirts looks like. So smaller size, but excellent condition, just your nylon blend hiking pants. List them for mid 40s and I took a best offer of $35. This next item a friend gave me. So a friend of mine, him and his wife were leaving uh, the state, they were moving. And they had a pile of stuff that was going to go to Goodwill. And because I sell online, he said, hey, do you want to look through any of that? And I found this. He was just going to give it to Goodwill. Uh, it's a North Face um, Apex. And you can see the Apex. Let's see right there on the sleeve. Um, let's see if it'll zoom in. I guess not. But anyways, North, North Face Apex soft shell jacket. I listed it for just under 60 and I took a best offer of $50 on this. And I sold this the next day after I listed it. All right, down to 23%. We'll see if we can make it. Um, I don't typically buy these shoes, but they're in excellent condition, just missing the insoles. Wilson Rush Pro 2.0 tennis shoes. Listed them for $44.81, and they sold for full price. These Merrill Chameleon 3 Gore-Tex hiking boots. Excellent condition again, listed them, and they sold for full price as well. Merrells are very steady for me. I, I love finding that brand, specifically for men, hiking boots or shoes. Uh, it's an easy 50 bucks, but this obviously, with the condition they were in, they went for 71 81 And again, just like I said, Gore-Tex, GTX, I'll sometimes put that in the title. I'll spell out Gore-Tex, and I'll also put the abbreviation GTX. Um, anytime you find Gore-Tex, you make sure that you want to you want to make sure to get that in the title because it means it's waterproof and breathable, which is a great option for um, people who are um, going outdoors, hiking or camping or whatever. This next item, territory I had was just it's a linen shirt and it's striped. It was small, so I was hesitant about picking it up because smalls usually take longer, but um, it. Listed and sold within two weeks for thirty-four oh one. So the full price that I had listed on it. Territory head. This is a their logo here. This is a newer uh, tag. So this is a newer shirt. It's not a vintage tag, is what I'm trying to say. Usually I pick up the vintage territory head, but uh, yeah, happy about that. Mid thirties. Mountain khakis. These shorts. I usually find like the cotton heavy thick uh, hiking shorts. These were more of a lightweight nylon and they were green, excellent condition, took a best offer of $23 and they sold fast. Um, if you don't know Mountain Khaki, that's the uh, the tag right there, Mountain Khaki MK. And it usually has, sometimes it has like a buffalo or something on the tag or it'll have that, um, that mountain silhouette. Sometimes I, f I forget that you may not know what the, the tag looks like, so I'm trying to remember to go back and look for that. Um, this was a new item that I picked up, new for me, Nike baseball glove. I found that baseball gloves actually sell for well in the 30s, and I listed this for 40, took a best offer of $32, and I actually was able to fit this into a padded flat rate envelope for $7 shipping. Um, so you wanna make sure to get the model number, whether it's right-handed, so I listed right-hand throw, and it's a size 13 inch. This brand I would have gotten more of, but there was a mark on one knee. You can kind of see it right there on the left knee or right knee, depending on how you're looking at it. There's a close up BKE denim jeans. Um, I thought I had a photo in here of the, the inside of the waist, but I guess not. Um, but they usually have that thick stitch that you see. And um, yeah, these sold for a best offer of $30, and I had them listed for $34. This is a brand that I find quite a bit, and it looks like that, Orvis. 
these were just your typical like um, outdoor pants or everyday workwear pants, but the back pockets were have like a, a heavier fabric here at the top. And these sold, I had them listed for $35.81. They sold within two weeks for a best offer of $30. This was an item, the brand I find quite a bit and I love, Duluth. Um, these were Capri pants. You can see there, they were both the same size, different colors. I listed them as a lot of two. And because they were Capri pants, I knew that there wouldn't be a lot of demand, especially for men's. So I listed them on the lower end. I had them in the mid 40s and I took a best offer of $38. This was a pair of pants that um, this and another item I'll show you here soon. Um, someone gave me a big box of stuff. They were gonna donate it to Goodwill and they said, hey, there's some really good stuff in here. I looked through it, it was like 30 items and I picked out about 10 that I wanted to sell. The other 20 weren't really that great. I donated those, and this was one of the 10 that I did sell. The Mammoth is the brand. The logo is like, uh, is, uh, let's see if I can find it. There it is, a Mammoth, the Woolly Mammoth. And very rare outdoor brand, very premium. I sold this for the full asking price of $44.81 the same day that I listed it. And you can even see that I said loose thread on the seam of one pocket right there. Um, so even with that, it sold for $45. These are just like your typical hiking pants. All right, down to our last uh, six, seven tabs. I picked up this pair of polo jeans, Ralph Lauren cargo pants. And the thing about these is they had like marks all in the back, like sm black smudge marks. And I took some of the, that stain remover that I have, and you can find a video of that. Maybe I'll link it right up here somewhere. Um, but I took that stain remover and was able to get it out so I could list these um, new with tags, brand new. And they sold for a full price of $43.01, I believe within two days of listing. Nothing fancy about those, just your typical cargo pants, casual cargo pants. This next item was the same as the Mammoth um, hiking pants. They were given to me in that box. Brand new without the tags, pair of Carhartt, um, and I just put like patch, canvas patch pants. I listed them for $44.81 uh, because, you know, I didn't pay anything for these. I got an offer for $35 and I took it simply for why I just said because I didn't really pay anything for these, so I had no money in them. Uh, this next brand is a great brand, Hoka 1-1 Bondi 3. Bondi 3 is an older style shoe. I think they're on Bondi 6 right now or 7. So these are older and, you know, they had some wear on the bottom. But uh, I listed them for just under 50 and they were on sale. And some guy came in and bought them, I think, uh, within a few days of listing for $44.81. If they weren't Bondi 3, if they were like Bondi 6 in great condition, I probably would have gotten 60 to 70, possibly even 80 for these shoes. So, I mean, brand new, they retail for like 150 170 so if you find a pair of shoes like this that are um, in great condition, that are a newer model, you can definitely get closer to 100 with Hoka. This brand is not new to me, cool, It's a but this style of shirt, the Pearl Western, um, Pearl Snap Western shirt from Cool is kind of a newer, sh a newer style that I haven't seen before. And I sold this for a best offer of $33. I debated keeping this for myself, but it was a little big and so out it went. Next up, a mountain hardware, um, just your like long sleeve. I think the sleeves roll up and fasten so they can become convertible in the short sleeve. I listed it for $31. It's a mountain hardware outdoor shirt, um, 2XL, which is great. It's nylon, has some stretch to it. Just your standard outdoor shirt, hiking shirt, and it's sold for a best offer of $27. This next item, um, I actually bought eight to 10 of these Polo Ralph Lauren dress shirts and they were 4XL or 4XL tall. And so I debated listing them as a lot. I typically would do that, either lot two or four of them together. I, I didn't do that with this, but fortunately the buyer came in and saw I had a bunch of them and he made an offer on four. So I had them all listed for about 34 each and he made an offer for 29 each and he bought four. So 
Uh, I had, you know, almost a hundred and twenty dollars in sales on four shirts that I paid like twenty bucks for for all of them. So maybe maybe thirty for those four. So a uh, thirty dollar purchase into one twenty was an excellent um, excellent sale. And I would say that, you know, if you can find um, Polo Ralph Lauren dress shirts that are three XL, four XL, five XL up from there. Um, they will sell really fast. This last item, number 75 of 75, uh, was in excellent condition. And same thing, these are cycling shoes for women's, and they are um, mountain bike as well, two bolt. You can see I've got the two bolt in there. Picture of the two bolt. And I listed them for just under 50, and I took a best offer of $40 for these. Because they're women's and they're smaller, I shipped them in a padded flat rate envelope. So I'm going to go ahead and close that out. Those are the 75 items that I listed um, that sold within two weeks of listing. And so I, um, I know my voice is kind of going because I've just been talking nonstop for a while now. But I know this is a long video and I, um, you know, if you've hung with me this long, then I don't want to keep it going much longer. So I just want to I do want to say that I hope those brands really helped you. Those are items that are selling really fast right now. And so um, keep your eye out on the store in the store when you're going for those brands and those specific um, shirts or pants or shoes or whatever it was that was selling. Guys, I do want to thank you for watching this. And since my battery's running low, I'm going to stop here. But um, if you're not subscribed, make sure to go ahead and subscribe to my channel to get more videos like this. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.